Hello scholars, I hope you all are fit and fine and taking a very good care of yourself. Today we are going to start our new chapter but before that I want you all to please keep your book open while watching this video. It will help you to understand the things properly. Okay, so let's start. So scholars, today we will start with our unit 5 science and technology. Before starting this chapter, let me tell you, in our term 2 syllabus of GK, we will do unit 5, 6, 7 and unit 8. Okay, so let's start. So here is our first exercise of unit 5 that is human body quiz. Here we have to answer the following questions with the help of the help box. Our question number 1 is how many layers of skin do we have? The answer is Three. We have three layers of skin. Write it here. Three. As you can see this in this image. We have three layers of skin. Epidermis, dermis and subcutaneous fat. Okay. Now let's move to our question number two. What do we call the blood vessels that carry blood away from the heart? Do you know this? These are arteries. Right here. Now, let's move to our question number 3. How many ribs do the humans have? The answer is 24. As you can see in the picture also, in one side we have 12 ribs. So, in total we have 24 ribs. Right here 24. Now we will see our question number 4. Name the part of the alimentary canal where the food is digested. The answer is small intestine. Please write this here. Now let's move to question number 5. What is the black part of the eye called? Just see in this image. What is this black part of eye called? Yes, you are right. It is called pupil. Write it here. Now let's move to question number 6. Which internal organ is the largest gland in the human body? Can you tell this answer? No. It is liver. Just see in this image. Here is our liver. Now let's move to question number 7. Which body part connects the mouth to the stomach? Can you name this? Yes, you are right. It is food pipe. Now let's move to our question number 8. Which internal organ of the human body is responsible for the exchange of gases? The answer is lungs. Now let's move to question number 9. In which part of human body will you find the smallest bones? I guess you know this answer. Yes, you are right. It is ears. Now we'll see our question number 10. What do we call the study of human body? The study of human body is called anatomy. A-N-A-T-O-M-Y Anatomy So with this we have completed this exercise. Now we'll move to our next exercise. So scholars, here is our exercise number 28 Scientific Terms Here we have to solve the following crossword puzzle 
by filling in the scientific terms suggested in the clues. What we have to do here? We have to read these clues and find out the scientific terms for the following processes or substances. Okay, so let's start with our clue number one. It is given here. A substance obtained by mining is called yes you are right it is called minerals so we will write minerals here in clue one let's do so we will write mineral like this okay now let's move to our clue number two it is given here the process of a material changing state from liquid to gas. What is this process called? Yes, you are right. It is evaporation. We have to fill this here. So let's do. So we will write evaporation like this. Okay. Now let's move to our clue number three. It is given here. A homogeneous mixture of two or more substances. Do you know what is it called? Yes, you are right. It is solution. Let's see where we have to write this. We will write this here. Okay. Now let's do. So like this we will write it here. Now let's move to our clue number four. It is given here. The act or process of filtering something. Yes, you are absolutely right. It is called filtration. And this we have to fill here. Let's do. Now we will see our clue number 5. It is given here. Throwing back of light by a body or surface without absorbing it. Can you tell the scientific name for this process? Yes, you are right. It is called reflection. Let's see where we have to write this. We have to fill this here. Let's do. So like this we will write reflection here. Now we will move to our clue number 6. It is given here. A change directly from the solid state to gas without it becoming a liquid. Do you know this process? This process is known as sublimation. And this we have to write here. Let's do so, like this, we will write sublimation here. Now, let's see our clue number 7. A substance that allows the electricity and heat to pass through it. What is it called? Yes, conductor. Okay? If it allows the electricity and heat to pass through it, it is a good conductor. And if don't allow to pass electricity and heat, so then it's bad conductor. Okay, so here we have to write conductor. And this we have to fill here. So let's do. Now we will see our clue number 8. It is given here. The process of a material Changing state from gas to liquid. What is this process called? Yes, it is called condensation. And this we will fill here. Now we will see our clue number 9. Refers to the non-living factors that form a part of our environment. The answer is abiotic. And this we will fill here. Now we have reached to our last clue. That is clue number 10. 
the shine or glow of a substance due to reflection of light from its surface it is called luster and this we will write here so as you can see we have completed all our puzzle now we will move to our next exercise so here is our exercise number 29 the limitless universe the universe is a huge wide open space that holds everything from the smallest particle to the biggest of galaxies the exact size of the universe is unknown so here in this exercise we have to fill in the blanks by choosing the correct answer from the brackets okay so let's start with our question number 1 The given picture is a cloud of gas and dust in the outer space. It glows red and pink. And the options given are nova or nebula. The answer is nebula. Please write it here. And you know what is nova? a star that suddenly becomes much brighter for a short period it is called nova but here our answer is nebula now we'll move to our question number 2 what is the earth's moon called yes you are absolutely right it is called luna it is an italian word luna Now let's see our question number 3 These are extremely distant objects in the universe and are extremely bright masses of energy and light they appear to us on earth as faint red stars these are called do you know this answer no these are called quasars write it here now we'll see our question number 4 how many moons does the planet mars have as it is shown in the picture also the planet mars have two moons so write here two now let's move to our question number 5 it is a short period comet that is visible from earth every 75 to 76 years what is this comet called the answer is halley's comet please write it here and you know scholars halley's comet is the only naked eye comet that can appear twice in a human lifetime now we'll move to our question number 6 which planet it also called the earth's sister planet do you know this which planet is known as earth's twin yes you are right it is venus the planet venus is named after the roman goddess of love and beauty and you know why it is called earth's twin because earth and venus are almost of the same size and have about the same mass okay now let's move to our question number 7 and dash is a large rock in the outer space which is generally found between the orbits of mars and jupiter this is asteroid please write it here now let's move to our question number 8 Stars do not last forever. When they die, they often blow up in a huge explosion. This explosion is called Yes, you are right. It is called supernova. So, with this we have completed our exercise number 29 also. Now, we'll move to our next exercise. So, scholars, Now we have reached to our exercise number 30 that is 
inventions and discoveries. Here given below are some inventions and discoveries. We have to match them correctly to their inventor or discoverer. So let's start. Our first one is mercury thermometer. Do you know who is the inventor of mercury thermometer? He is Daniel Fahrenheit. Please write in front of B1. And you know what is the full name of Daniel? His full name was Daniel Grabiel Fahrenheit. Okay, now let's see our question number two. Gravity. So who was the discoverer of gravity? Yes, you are absolutely right. He was Newton. And it is given in option D. So in front of D we will write 2. Now let's see third one. Gramophone. Who is the inventor of gramophone? Yes, he was Thomas Alva Edison. So please write in front of option A. 3. Now we will see our question number 4. Revolver. Who invented revolver? Samuel Colt. It is given in option C. So write number 4 in front of C. Now let's see question number 5. Aeroplane. So who invented aeroplane? Yes, you are right. They are the Wright brothers. It is given in option G. So in front of G we will write 5. Now let's see. Number 6, radium, a radioactive element. Do you know who discovered radium? He was Mary and Pierre Curie. It is given in option I. So we will write 6 in front of I. Now let's see 7, printing press. Do you know who invented the printing press? He was Johannes Gutenberg and it is given in option E. So write 7 in front of E. Now let's see 8. Stethoscope. Who invented stethoscope? Yes, you are right. He was René Leniac. And it is given in option F. So in front of F we will write 8. Now we will see number 9, penicillin. It is an antibiotic medicine. And who invented penicillin? Alexander Fleming. It is given in option J. So write 9 in front of J. Now we will see our last question, smallpox vaccine. So smallpox vaccine by Edward Jenner. So we will write in front of it. And with this we have completed this exercise. Now we'll see our next exercise. So scholars here is our exercise number 31 computer peripherals. Do you know what is it? Is a device attached to a host computer. It is not an essential part of the computer but helps to augment its functionality. So here what we have to do we have to identify these computer peripherals and unscramble their names. So scholars I want you to do this exercise yourself as I know you all are very much familiar with all these parts. And not only this, but exercise number 32 also you will do yourself. Here also you have to recognize these modern electronic gadgets and write their names with the help of the help box. So I know you all are 
very much familiar with all these modern electronic gadgets. So these two exercises you will do yourself. Okay. And after doing this, yes, you can check your answers from the PDF given in the link below. So with this, we have completed our unit 5 and in our next video, we will do our next unit. Okay, so goodbye scholars, stay safe, stay healthy.